Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action and that's the Laws of Attraction in Action are right here on Facebook, that's the group and of course the Laws of Attraction in Action dot com. Well it feels like forever, I mean like really forever since I've done a Facebook Live and I would imagine I did one last week, I'm going to have to go and look but it just feels like forever. So I hope your week has been good or your weeks have been good, I hope all is going well in your world and that you are through the power of your conscious ability to choose for self in the best interest of self, making choices that are reflecting what you want in life and when I say making choices about what you are wanting to reflect in life i.e. you are getting the things that you want in life versus the things that you don't want in life. Well one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is I uh, posted a meme and I posted, I posted this meme several times and it's about forgiveness. Forgiveness is something that's really really huge for us in the creation of what it is that we want. In talking about and sharing the knowledge that I have on the universal laws of attraction and its laws, plural, not law, it's vitally important to understand that there are some things, there are some things that are vital that have to take place so that you are able to get what it is that you say that you want in life. And there are some things, it's just vital, there are things that aren't going to happen unless there are things that are put in place. Now forgiveness needs to be one of them. But you see forgiveness actually, it works with, um, forgiveness actually works with the universal law of space. And I speak about this often. Two things cannot occupy the same space. It's impossible. This you see this all over, all over. Um, you know, uh, spiritual doctrines. Science will tell you. Everybody will tell you this: that two things cannot occupy the same space. Now, much of our mental real estate, much of our mental real estate, much of what goes on in 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 our heart, in the heart chakra real estate. Much of goes on within our spiritual real estate is taken up with things that have happened in the past. And we spend a lot of time, guys, and I'm always saying this, talking about if I woulda, shoulda, coulda. Well, you know, the fact remains, as cold as this may sound, the fact remains that you didn't. Or the fact remains that you did. It's what are you choosing to do with the knowledge that you have now? What are you choosing to do with the knowledge that you have now? So, the things that bind us, one of the things that bind us, hey Carl, well, I'm tell my sister I said hello darling, hey Carl, hi Olivia. Um, one of the things that actually bind us uh, to, I'm going to say, phrase it this way, to not being able to achieve what we want. You know, we might get get almost like we we're in we're we're in the zone. We can actually touch the end, you know, the the, the goalpost. We can touch it, and then it, it just doesn't happen for us. And that that happens with many people. They're going along, everything's going fine, and then poof, it, it 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 explodes. And they keep saying, I don't understand it. it it's like I, I, I can just almost, I can almost reach out and touch it, but it doesn't quite, it, it just won't happen. I just, I just don't understand. Well, you see, guys, the, bi the, the, the ties that bind us are the things that will hold us in mummy form. Literally, they'll mummify us. And the ties that bind us are the things that we need to forgive. You see, people will say to you, oh, you need to let it go. Well, sometimes what's happened to you can be so um, heinous or heinous or, or so, so, so gut-wrenching to you that it's, it's difficult to say, well, let it go. How, how, how do I let it go? Well, it's those things. Those things are the ties that bind you. 
and they bind you to the thing that is um, unpalatable to you. They bind you to the things that have created these waves in your life. They bind you to the things that you no longer want and it pulls you under. So the ties that bind you are the things that require forgiveness. You want freedom. You want freedom in your mind. You want freedom in your life. You want freedom is another word. Or freedom is forgiveness by another name. And forgiveness is freedom by another name. And it's vitally important to understand that. In order to be free, you need to be able to forgive you. Never mind anybody else. You see, the process of forgiveness has to start with you. If you cannot forgive you for what has happened to you, it's happened to you, happened to you, happened to you in your life, how in the hell do you think you can be able to forgive somebody else? It's impossible. But yet still, we're taught that in order to forgive, you just... Forgive, you know, you're benevolent and you, you, just, you just forgive. That's not how that works. And that's not how that works in most people's lives. And as a result, many people, they, they're like spinning tops, going through their lives, spinning, spinning, spinning. And uh, yeah, they're moving along, but they're spinning, spinning, spinning. And they can never, ever quite manifest the thing that they say that they want. And, you know, ironically, um, in, in speaking, because I, I lecture weekly, and in speaking, one of the things that I had said uh, recently was, you know, many people were like, oh, you know, it's all about getting money, it's about getting the money, it's about this, uh, but it's not. It's not. The, mo the, money, the money and wanting of money truly acts as a uh, facade or a smoke screen in our lives. But you see, underneath that smoke screen or behind that facade, people are looking to be loved. People are looking for freedom. They're looking for peace of mind. They're looking for joy. They're looking for the emotional um, correspondence in their life that makes their life worth living, that makes um, every day a joy, a joy to be, to be in, that waking up has meaning and not because you know you're going to do this and that but because you simply opened your eyes and you were awake and you were alive there are so many things that um uh, that that i see in my professional and in my personal opinion that create these smoke screens but that being said backtracking freedom freedom is forgiveness by another name. So in order for you to uh, cut and eliminate the ties that are binding you, the ties that, that won't allow you to create the space and place for new things to come in, create the space and place so that you can reach that end goal, create the space and place so the, 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 the financial desire that you have or the love or the health or whatever it is so that that space can be created so that can come into form into your life or it can manifest or your prayer can be answered whatever whatever floats your boat whatever makes you feel good you need and hear me clearly I'm saying this you need to be able to forgive and forgive consciously and in that forgiveness be able to let go if you forgive and you hold on to this thing you haven't forgiven you've just uttered words and platitudes that might make somebody else feel good about themselves but in reality it has done absolutely nothing for you and as I always say this your life is about you you are the omega and you are the beginning. You're the alpha and the omega of your life. Be under no illusion 
You are the alpha and omega of your life. Your life, it begins with you. It ends with you. The middle bit is you. Everything is you. Because guys, if you stop breathing, that's the end of you. So if there is something or things that are not going well in your life, perhaps it's time to start looking at forgiving yourself. Forgive yourself for the things that you have done knowingly and unknowingly to yourself. And that can be saying yes when you meant to say no or when you say, said no when you should have said yes. That could mean doing things out of duty and not because it's, it's, it's something that, that it, it comes from within you with love. It could mean knowing that you are in a job that you hate, but you're in it because the money's good, but not even realizing that, yeah, the money's good, but you're going to spend that money taking care of your health because you're doing something that you hate and your body's going to manifest that for you. So guys, I'm serious when I say to you, forgiveness, forgiveness is another name for freedom. Freedom goes by the name of forgiveness and forgiveness goes by the name of freedom. So begin your process. And this is something that for me personally that I do on a daily basis. I do my forgiveness work. I know, look y'all, I know what I can be like. I know what I can be like. And so therefore for me, it is an ongoing thing. And I forgive myself on a daily basis for things that I have done knowingly, that's consciously. And for the things that I have done unconsciously, unknowingly, I forgive myself. And in that, I experience my own personal freedom. In that, I also invoke, and the universal law of freedom is a law as well. I invoke the universal law so that space, the universal law of space, the universal law of space, so whatever it is can come in. You see, where there is a void, it needs to be filled. And when you actually do choose to forgive yourself, it opens you up so that you can expand. There's, there's an expansion. And within that expansion, you can fill it. You can fill it with what it is that you want to fill it. You get to choose that. So guys, freedom by another name. That's, that's my brother from another mother. Freedom by another name is forgiveness. And all it takes is you having that conversation with yourself. You know, before I, before I wind up, which I'm going to do here shortly, people have said to me, you know, uh, you know, Dr. D, how do I forgive? You know, how do I forgive my spouse for for cheating on me? You know, we've been together for, I don't know, 20, 30 years. How, how do I forgive that? How do I forgive my, my, my parents for, I don't know, favoring a brother or sister or what have you? How do I forgive the people at work for how they've treated me? How do I forgive the government? How do I, for, how do, I do this when I'm hurt so badly? How do I do this? How do I do this when how I feel borders on hate? How do I do this? Forgive yourself. Start the dialogue with you. You sit, get quiet, inhale. Take a moment in time where you know you're not going to be disturbed. And review things as they come in into your life. Ask yourself, because self will answer you, what is it that I need to forgive? Pow! You're like, really? That bothered me? That bothered me. Yeah, Olivia, the spinning top. That bothered me. Evidently, it did. But I was like seven years old when that happened. And that bothered, evidently. Because you are self and self answered you. So don't argue. Don't try to rationalize. Forgive. And forgive yourself. And I literally mean you say the words. I forgive myself. I forgive. And not only that. Mm, a lot of people, I know you ain't going to want to hear this. I know people hate to hear this. 
when you forgive yourself, you take ownership of the situation. You take ownership for what has happened to you. You take accountability. You, you, you make yourself accountable for what's happened to you. And you're taking responsibility for what has happened to you. And people will say, yeah, but this happened to me. I was there and, you know, I don't know, the, 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 the scaffolding fell on me, etc. I'm not saying... Um, I'm, I, I'm not saying that it should have happened. What I'm saying is that it did happen. And if you live your life in a woulda, shoulda, coulda mode, it's not going to help you. Because it did happen. You see, forgiveness isn't about um, uh, casting aspersion and or laying the blame. Forgiveness isn't about that. It's not about the blame game. It truly is about you setting yourself free and setting yourself free because when you truly do forgive yourself, you have to own your part. You have to own your part in what's gone on in your life. Again, you're the alpha and omega. Your life begins with you. It ends with you. The middle bit is you. Forgiveness is all about you. It's not easy because I, I'm going to tell you the first time I actually did forgiveness work. Even now it makes me feel like crying. It brought me to, I mean, it brought me to my knees buckled because I didn't think that I had anything to forgive myself. All this stuff that happened to me, all this stuff that happened to me, I, I, I didn't think I had anything to forgive. He did this, she did that, they did that, blah, blah. But when I said, and I looked in the mirror, that's how I did it. I looked in the mirror and I said, Wendy, I forgive you for all things that you have done to yourself, knowingly and unknowingly. I forgive you and I release you from any kind of tie this has on you. And I was like, whoa. And then I realized I had a lot of forgiveness of self to do and once I had done that I could then forgive other people so guys start with you get quiet like um, on the um, in, in the group you can definitely download the, uh, the, 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 the the PDF that talks about preparing yourself to do this work getting into that quiet space there's a PDF on on the um, the group in the files on the laws of attraction in action there's there's a pdf there and also on the website i think it is as well don't quote me on that but that being said guys that's all i wanted to say to you today um freedom is another name for forgiveness and forgiveness is another name for freedom you can't have freedom without forgiveness and you can't have forgiveness without freedom those two things actually create a space within you or within the dynamic laws of which we all come under and if you have stuff and I mean stuff that is filling that space this could be the reason why what you are wanting to come to fruition is unable to manifest maybe one of the reasons why so that being said Carl I know you're having a wonderful time um, where you are at um, thanks everybody for listening. My name's Dr. Wendy Dearborn. You can find me at the Laws of Attraction in Action. And the Laws of Attraction in Action, the group right here on Facebook. And let me just say this, let me just qualify. To join the group, I'm going to send you an email. You click join, I'm going to send you an email. And one, it's to make sure that you are real and not somebody trying to spam. I mean, you've got people, they, they're members of 700 groups, like really. Um, and I'm going to ask you why. I, literally, I'm going to ask you, what is it that you're wanting from the group and what can you bring to the group? I'm going to ask you. So, that being said, have a wonderful day. It's a gorgeous day out here. Absolutely gorgeous. And outside of that, until next time, guys, peace. Bye.